Hello, my YouTube family. I am I am too pissed for words right now, and I will explain. But it is 2.52 p.m., and I am home. Originally, they said that they sent out an email stating that we were going to leave at 3 o'clock, but the snow was getting so bad, and it still is getting bad, that they sent out an email for us to leave at 1. Oh, happy day. But here comes a coworker asking me if I could drive her home. She doesn't live that far from me because her car is in the shop. So what do you expect me to do? Of course I have to say yes. Let me um let me do lips of the day first because I'm I'm so burning up that um I hope you can follow my train of thought because you know when you are so mad and angry and upset and you know you weren't looking for trouble but trouble came looking for you okay lips of the day as you can see red yes I can't even say it the way everybody wants me to say it that's how pissed off I am um the lip liner is Urban Decay, and the color, I think it's Gash, but I'm not really sure. The color, oh, it's Gash. I was right. The lip liner is Urban Decay, and the color here is Gash, right where my finger is, right here. Gash. That's the lip liner, and the lip stick, which is actually, it's kind of like a, um, a it's a thick lip gloss, but it's a, it's a, hmm. What's it called? A liquid lip color. Avon. Old as old can be. I've done a review on this one before. Um, this one is called Real Red. Real Red. And as you can see, it goes perfectly. Wait a minute. I am not straight. I am not straight, people. There I go. Just a little bit. Is he behind me? Yes, he is. The one thing that is keeping me keeping me together. And yesterday for the first time he's he hopped on my lap and fell asleep. On my lap. I thought he was never going to be a lap cat. A a, a lap cat, yeah. And it turns out he just might be. Anyway, this is real red. I see. Train of thought. Follow me. Follow me, people. This is real red. Very thick. And I think Avon still sells these. This is a glazeware. I don't know if Avon still sells glazewares. Glaze glazewares. Yeah, well, glazeware. Lipsticks. That is real red. And indeed, indeedy do, it is a real red. Sticks to your lips. This is this morning's application. I didn't even go to lunch. This is this morning's application. For real. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yummalicious. Not in taste, but the fact that it's red and it's gorgeous and it sticks to your lips and all of that. So, I really should watch my, I really should watch my temper because you know when you're so hot that you could feel your blood pressure rising, you could feel it. I'm really trying to I'm really trying. So, like I said, all I wanted to do was one o'clock. Just, just go home. Just go home. But no, I had to drive a coworker home. Okay, fine. Drove her home. And now it's really getting. The snow is really accumulating. I get home, but Pop is in the driveway, but not all the way in the driveway. So he's like out. I can't. I can't go through. And there is a van, or an SUV, a white SUV, who is my neighbor's SUV. And he's sitting in the car. I could see him. But he was, he was parked further back where I could just back up and just park there. So I parked into the driveway, and then I'm trying to back up. Now, you see me trying to back up, right? 
and you already obviously have a parking spot. Why do you see me backing up, but you're going to move forward? So every time I moved back, he kept moving forward. So I got out the car. Snowing. He saw me get out the car. He rolled down the window. I said, could you just back it up just a little bit because I'm trying to park? This is his reply. I have things in the car and I have to take them out and I have things in the car. What's that got to do with you backing up? But I didn't say that. So I'm like, I said, okay, but all I'm asking is just, you know, just to, to move back where you were. Cause I, I, you could see, I, I can't, you know, cause my father's truck is in the way. So I can't, yeah, but I'm, I'm about to get out. I, I have to carry things to the house. Mind you, his, his house is right next to mine, right next door. And too many SUVs are parked in front of his house. So now you have to park in front of my house. I'm not, I'm not complaining, but you see that I'm trying to back up. Why are you moving forward? So for a third time, I said, could you just, could you just please roll the car back? This is his reply. What's with the attitude? There's no need for you to have attitude. There's no need for you to, to, I said, you see my, you saw my rear lights and I'm trying to park, right? And he goes, now I'm not going anywhere because you got attitude. You could have spoken to me nicer. Mind you people, this guy is so ugly that I, 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 I'm surprised I could still have sight. He's fat. He's ugly. And he's got a child in the car. So now, now I'm seething. So I get back in the car, but I say loud enough. I said, okay, asshole. And I get back. Excuse me. Excuse me. What did you say? I have to take my keys and I have to go to my father to tell him, could he please move the car? What did you say? What did you say? I said, I said it. If you didn't hear it, oh well. Why do you have to be so ugly? Why do you have to have such an attitude? I wouldn't have had an attitude if you weren't so freaking stupid. You see me backing up. Why are you moving forward? Why are you taking the spot that obviously you have enough room in the back to move back? He was, he was further back. He was further back. I had enough room to just back it up and park. And I would have just been right in front of him. Done. But you see me backing up. Now you want that spot. For real? For real? So... I opened the front door. I was ringing the bell and I opened the front door so Pop could meet me. Pop is coming out and I'm arguing with the guy. And now Pop takes my hand and tries to push me back. Okay, okay, okay. We don't have to do this. We don't have to do this. We don't have to do this. This fool is being a stupid ass. I'm not doing anything. I'm trying to defend myself. But in my father's eyes, all I'm doing is asking for trouble. So he parked in front of, he parked, he moved it. And I had to go around the corner and park behind him and wait for my father to, to drive out of the driveway. Well, I was waiting and I was waiting and I was waiting. And finally, and the more I'm waiting, the more I'm seething in the car. So at, at, I really thought, oh, okay, maybe he's not going to move the car because he saw that I already parked behind this fool. So I got out the car. Here he comes. Time to back the car up. So I drive in 
and now my father is in the spot where I was behind this asshole. So I get, I, I just, I, I said thank you, and I just went upstairs to my part of the house. But seeing that Pop didn't see the commotion, I wanted to explain to him. So I went back downstairs and I said, I just want to explain to you what you walked into. Because he walked into the argument. He didn't know what the hell happened. So I wanted to explain to him. So he says, well, people like that you have to avoid. I get it. I don't associate with anybody within the radius of my house. I don't. Nobody's neighborly. Everybody's in for themselves. Everybody minds their own business. You don't know who a drug dealer is. Who, and my father's convinced that this, this gorilla that lives next door is a drug dealer. I don't know. He could be. He may not be. I don't know. So he comes out with people like that you have to avoid. And I get it. I get it. I avoid them like the plague. But there comes a point, a time in your life where you can avoid all you want to and trouble will find you no matter where you're trying to avoid. So I'm trying to explain this to my father. And of course, he comes out with, well, you don't know who he knows and he could be so upset that now he could be calling his boys. And, you know, late at night when I'm not here, he could come and, and, and you don't know what he could do to you. True. All true. I really don't think he's going to do anything. I, I pray to God he doesn't. All true. But there comes a point in your life where you have to stand up for yourself. And after trying to reason with this moron, all I'm doing is asking you to just move back. I, I really, I, I didn't ask you to give me your parking spot. I just said to just, could you just move back a little bit? You know what my mistake was? My mistake was trying to reason with him. Because in my father's eyes, that was my mistake. It was my mistake. You know, I should have just let it go. Okay, massa, you, you, you want to park in front of my house? All right, massa, man. You go ahead. And, you know, I should have just driven around and parked behind him like I wound up doing anyway. I could have just asked Pop. I, he's not moving, so could you? There comes a point in your life where if you, there's a phrase, if you don't stand for, if you don't stand for something, then you don't stand for anything. I'm in front of my house. I'm not saying that the parking spot was mine because it's in front of my house. It's a public place. Anybody could park. And he's he and, and whoever the goons that he lives with have so many SUVs that they've taken up his driveway, the front of his house. And now, of course, now he has to have his SUV in front of my house. I ain't mad at you. I see you park there every day. In fact, you have so many SUVs that at one point you must have forgotten to pay for one of your SUVs because there was a boot on your wheel and it was in front of my house. That's not my car. It's your car. But hey, that was a black SUV. Now he has a white SUV. Whatever. So in trying to give my defense you know my father is you're trying to reason why are you trying to reason with him so he's making me feel like it's my fault so i said you know what you're right it was my it was my fault it was my fault for trying to reason with him my fault my bad we the 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 mail had come he was going, he was sifting through the mail. He was giving me my part of the mail. I took my mail. I said, thank you. And I came back upstairs. 
obviously I have to defend my own self because nobody else is going to come to my defense. Not even my father. Because I have to try to avoid everything. Everything that spells trouble. You can't, th th there's no such thing as, as standing your ground. You know, like in Florida, stand your ground. Well, I'm sure either one of us would have been shot if it was Florida that this was happening in. Either I would have been shot or he would have been shot. Or we both would have been shooting each other. I don't know. So, that is why. All I wanted to do, people, all I wanted to do was just come home in peace. And I even posted this on my Facebook page. So those of you who are Facebook friends of mine, I'm sure you already re have read my post. All I wanted to do was just come home in peace. That's it. Drive my co-worker home, done, and just drive home in peace. And just be happy that they let us out early. I don't know if this snow is, is going to last until tomorrow, but they already told us that if it's going to be that bad, either one of two things, the office will be closed, or if it's not that bad, then we don't have to come in at 8.30, we could come in at 9.30. but call before we go anywhere. So the, excuse me, the weather hotline for our office opens at 6.30. So I'll wake up and I'll call and see what's going on. So that's that. The good thing, the good thing, I, I I have to kind of focus on good thoughts because I'm I'm it and it takes me a while to calm down. It takes me a while. It's going to take hours before I am back to myself. But I I have good things to think about. Like Tom hopped on my lap for the first time ever yesterday, and um, obviously he left doing his own thing. And slept on my lap. He slept on my. He hopped on my lap, people, and just just sat there and looked at, looked up at me like, "Okay, I found a new place." I was so elated. You have no idea. You have no idea. I really thought he was never going to be a lap cat, and I'm hoping he did it twice yesterday. He hopped on my lap twice, so I'm hoping that it is going to be a thing and he slept on my lap and then he moved like right next to my lap and then he came back on <sighs> so that is a good thing that is a good thing so I'll try to try to focus on that I'll, I'm trying to focus on the fact that I'm home all is right with the world but not so much because you try to live your life in peace and unless, unless you're in the universe by yourself, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Something will always be a bump in the road in your life. That's just the way it is, people. So, oh, by the way, the blush that I'm wearing, yeah, I'm just, follow me now. The blush that I'm wearing is the other Jane blush. This one in peach bouquet. This is the other Jane blush. It's more orangey coral, but there's like this really big red part right there. There we go. So I, you know, I swirled, and apparently the red picks up rather nicely, but it's not a red red. It just gives me that flush of color, which I really, really love. I love this blush. Jane blush. And I bought this at Kohl's also. I bought the the Balm in stain three three piece set from Kohl's, and I bought these from Kohl's. I bought this one and the other one that I showed you earlier. I know you can tell people. I know you can tell. I know my family knows me by now. So I'm going to go now and just try to detox, like seriously. 
I need to just because all of that drama really was so unnecessary and I'm even sorry that I spoke to that thing that lives next door I'm, I'm so sorry that I did but bygones are bygones I know I know what he's like he knows what I'm like if you want to say oh that's the bitch with the attitude then I'll be known as the bitch with the attitude you however are a loser point blank period on that note I love you I love my YouTube family hit me up let me know what you think and I will talk to you tomorrow tomorrow is Wednesday okay. I'm sorry that coming back the, the first day that I come back to do videos this is what you have to be dealing with but um, hopefully you can understand hopefully alright I love you I'll talk to you tomorrow bye now